Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to Brussels Motor Show 2020 and here we can see the world premiere of the Mercedes AMG GLA35 Formatic. So as you can see this is world premiere of the entirely new model of the compact series Mercedes AMG. And guys, if you like this video then give this video a like, subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. And I will post many new videos from this show and also other exciting videos. So guys, thank you very much for your support and let's get started with this car. So this car completes now the lineup of the AMG compact vehicles. So this is the 35 model, which we know uh, also as A35, CLA35 and other models like the GLB, which is behind this car on the display. So we can see the all new front headlights with multi-beam active LED system and it also has a specific AMG grille and the front and this new paint is called Patagonia Red and it is Designo or you can say Designo and that's metallic, special metallic shade so it really looks really nice and elegant in person and I really like this paint, I was really curious to see it. So I think it really suits the car really, really well. Specific A bumper. So really, really gorgeous car from the front. They're really aggressive for this compact series. And what I want to show you and what I want to tell you is this car, if you want and if you like A35, but you need more ground clearance, and then this is basically a great, great car for you. So here we can see some prices of this car and these are only recommended prices. So there may be some, there could be some changes for these prices. That's uh, what the guy told me. And there is in Netherlands and also in a French language. I think this is a fr in French. Uh, so yeah, really, really, I'm a big fan of this car. We can see here this multi-spoke alloy wheels with AMG drilled brakes and Continental tires. So these are Sport Contact 6 tires and I will show you the tire size in a second. Maybe they will come in different with different tires like Michelin Pilot Sport, we will see. And these are 255, 35, 21 inch and I think you will have also 20 inch possible but we need to see that. Turbo badge formatic on the front fender. So let's take a look at the interior so we can see beautiful MBUX display and we have two displays and also we have AMG performance seats as you can see here with the leather trim option two-tone which is a light gray and also dark gray so really really gorgeous seats they have huge bolsters and they are also comfortable so I want to show you uh, this interior here in a brief look so this car is in show mode, so I cannot show you everything in full detail, but uh, it's similar to A35. So if you are curious, you can watch that video and it will be more or less the same. So here we can see the front, how the car looks from the front during night. So this is great animation. I'm trying to um, yeah, launch the system, but we don't have a key and it's in show mode. But we can see we have two 10.25 inch displays. So these are MBUX system in this vehicle. And we have also AMG special menu. Right now it's in a classic mode. So it has like a blue shade, but you can have it also in sport and also in super sport. So we have a beautiful ambient lighting and a really, really gorgeous vehicle. So we have some menus here. This is for all assistant systems. So this car can have a Distronic Plus system and it can steer automatically on the highway. So that's pretty, pretty cool for this uh, segment of the vehicle because before we had it only in the C-Class and upwards, but right now we have it also in the compact class. And the AMG specific grille, uh, yeah, now it's like that. It's in also in the 35, but I think A35 with the facelift, we also get this uh, kind of grill. We have this like a touch hotkeys and right now it's off but uh, yeah you have like a small display there and if you touch it then it will change. Fully automatic seats with memory function. We have also seat ventilation and seat heating 
This car also can have auxiliary heating, so it can preheat the interior of the car uh, via the app, Mercedes Me app. We have this new touchpad with the wireless charging on your phone and two cup holders. And you have dynamic uh, select button, which you can change the driving modes. So really, really fantastic. You have two uh, zone climate control unit, AC, AC unit. We have a glove compartment and really these seats, they have uh, like a little hole so it can be ventilated and also heated. Huge bolsters, but at the same time, it's pretty soft as you can see. So they're very, very comfortable. Integrated headrest and they look just incredibly like a super racing seats. So yeah. Yeah, mirror with the light, so that's standard. And you can have also panoramic roof as an optional extra. And it is in two sections, so you have a separated roof in the rear. And then you can open the front part. So you have beautiful ambient lighting, a really large armrest. And 64, 64 single colors or 10 or 12 multicolor options head-up display so this is really packed with the technology you have sunglasses compartment and yeah, this is just uh, on another level and if you compare this with the predecessor then you can clearly see the differences with the new model so guys now let's check out the rear seats and i want to show you how much space do i have i set the front seat as i would drive as a driver and the guy which sat right now he didn't change it so yeah that's great you can see the rear seats, they have really nice support considering the rear seats. We can have also Burmester sound system, so <laughs> really this car is so so good for, the, for, the, for this class and super practical because also you can put the kids uh, here in the rear seats and yeah, you have enough space for a trolley in the boot space, so just a fantastic so here I have uh, quite enough space considering I'm an adult person, as you can see. This is like 10 centimeters, like more than 3 inches of uh, knee room. And also for my arm, this armrest is really huge with hidden cup holders. So really, really pra practical car. Also, it's, it's quite soft for uh, rear seats. So for the headroom, I have uh, quite a lot of space and I'm... 186 or 87 centimeters that's six feet and between one and two inch so i'm quite more than more than average tall person and i have a lot of space there so that's that's fantastic so you can see here how the cabin looks from the rear so really this mg performance steering wheel it's uh yeah it's really really amazing how it looks and you can grip it's really thick this steering wheel so you can enjoy it as a yeah as a dead driver if you want uh like a more enjoyable drive, but still a family car. This is ideal solution, I think. Also the CLA 35 shooting brake, but I don't think you will have it in the US. So only you have CLA Coupe. So that's, I think it's a entry model for a family purposes, but still an AMG entry level vehicle. So here from the rear, we can see similar design as the GLC for the tail lamps and also the GLE. Uh, coupe so really similar lights uh, actually the graphics is similar so really uh, you can see little spoiler on the top of the fifth door so here is the rear spoiler it has like two inches so it's subtle but you can see it definitely GLA 35 on the right side and that's the badge and on the left side it's AMG in the chrome you can black it out if you want and you have also in the middle a Mercedes star. So the boot is electric, 435 liters. So that's really, really solid boot space, a little bit more than in the A-class hatchback. And yeah, I think it's sufficient. And you have some net here. And yeah, you can split the rear seat in 40, 20, 40. And underneath and the floor, and the boot floor, you have a subwoofer as you can see and tire kit no spare tire so the boot is electric you can press the button and close it in a class hatchback there is not possible to have electric boot so this is great and yeah it's convenient 
Hopefully the A-Class hatchback in the facelift form will have electric boot as well. So here are the rear uh, alloy wheels and we have a 255, 35, 21 inch tire size, 21 inch alloy wheels, multi-spoke, chrome trim around the window with the night package, you would have it in black color, so you can black it out if you want. So let's open the engine bay and let's check out the engine and I will show you the engine and tell you the performance of this vehicle. So this shares the same 2.0 liter M260 engine. This is four cylinder inline cylinder engine. So you can see here the AMG cover above the engine and the turbocharger. Here is a twin scroll turbocharger. So this car develops 306 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. That's 295 pound feet of torque and in horsepower is 302 horsepower. So this car can accelerate 0 to 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour in just 5 seconds and electrically limited to 250 km per hour, 155 miles per hour. Here you can see the cameras for assistive systems. So this car have all new technologies with assistive systems and with the formatting you have a lot of grip for your daily family trips. So guys that's it for this video. If you like it then share it with your friends, comment down below what you think about this car, like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.